All right, Libra, here we go. Libra, soulmate energies for mid-October 2021. Okay? I'm going to blow your mind with my pre-shuffle. It starts with the cookie monster. C is for cookie. Okay? Uh, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, I promise you're here for a reason. Or if you found Steve's Love Tarot, you found it for a reason. This is for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus, mid-October 2021. I asked the universe, I said, Universe, what, what's this current soulmate cycle here in mid-October 2021 from the angle of Libra? Right? I, got, I got the cookie monster. Okay, I got the cookie monster upright. Why do I have the cookie monster? Tell me about the cookie monster. I mean, I do have a pre-shuffle under here, right? But why did I throw the cookie monster? The Cookie Monster card on here that stares at me while I do the readings off over behind me. Well, the Cookie Monster is kind of obsessed, isn't he? He's obsessed with what? With cookies, right? He loves them. Obsessed. Yeah. Okay. In my pre-shuffle. <laughs> I can Cookie Monster. I love it. That's awesome. Uh, Six of Cups. Somebody is obsessed with this soulmate connection. And I want to point out you might want to watch the Virgo reading. It may not be exact for you, but I use the animal deck in the Virgo reading. This here is the little Atseer deck. It's a different deck. I picked up this deck off the table to shuffle for the pre-shuffle. It had the Six of Cups at the bottom. I shuffled. I shuffled and I shuffled. It took about 40 seconds of shuffling actually to do the pre-shuffle. It usually does. It's a big shuffle. I ended up with the Six of Cups back at the bottom. And I thought, wow, that's crazy. Well, you might want to check out Virgo. It's a tip. I'm the guy who does the readings. I'm the energy reader. This isn't astrology. Don't care if you don't even know a Virgo. Don't care. Um, this is crazy. This is someone who's a different deck. Someone who's obsessed with this soulmate connection, right? Hoping for a second chance because they feel the loss of it, the Five of Cups, and they want to talk. They, they're trying to figure out a way to reach out here because all they can feel is this connection. Book ending, right? This is powerful. This is Twin Flame, Deep Soul. I mean, it's Six of Cups, book ending the lovers. It's, it's powerful. I'm not saying 100% that the Virgo reading is for you, but those are a lot of the same cards in a, in a close proximity that Virgo got. So maybe that reading means something to you. I say it to help. Not, I don't really care. You can do whatever you want. Let's shuffle the deck for Libra. Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Mid-October 2021. Libra. Mid-October 2021. Soulmate cycle. What do we got, universe? What you got for me? What do you got here? And don't give me that Six of Cups again. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm going to suggest again, watch the Virgo reading, okay? And a suggestion from me, that should, be, uh, that should be pretty strong. I'm the guy who's pulling these fucking readings. I'm the guy who's reading this energy. Watch the fucking Virgo reading. It could be one thing I say in there, just one fucking thing that'll mean something to you, okay? Uh, Ten of Wands is before the cut. This was their overall energy of the connection, by the way. It was just, it's just from a different deck. I am literally, it's like getting all six lottery numbers right and winning the fucking lotto. I mean, it's amazing. Um, right here, the Wheel of Fortune, uh, the uh, ten, Wheel of Fortune, right? Ten of Wands. Uh, it's an incredible burden. They're obsessed beyond belief. I feel it. I feel it on this. I'll tell you the same thing I told them. The nines in tarot are the end. The tens are the end leading to a new beginning. Hopefully. <laughs> Sometimes they're just, you know, like, like the Ten of Swords can just be the end. But th this, this right here, somebody's got to do something about this. This is a huge burden. And I'm, I expect it's all the energies at play right now. It's 10-10. It's the retrograde. It's, it's the retrograde energy cycle of the connection. It's, it's all of it. Playing a game. Yeah. Four of Swords after that. Um... Normally I'd say they're healing or their heart chakra is opening. No, it's killing them. It's for so they're killing them. That's all I get off this. That burden, that ten of wands, is killing them. It's all they can think about. 
Okay. Okay. That's the energy on it. I read energy, not cards. I've given you the energy. Uh, I don't think they're doing anything about it right now with the Four of Swords. But they're certainly thinking about it. Okay. And feeling it. All right. Let's see what we go. Mm -hmm. Libra. Mid-October 2021. Let's give the deck a final shuffle. Let's pull a reading here. Let's do this. These readings in this mid-month have been intense. I'm pulling them right in the middle of the 1010 portal fucking storm. I'm sitting in the energy right now of it. It's just amazing. Um, I wish it. I don't wish it would stay because it's making people crazy, but I do wish it would hang around to help me with the readings. <laughs> anyway, I, hope it, I wish it would leave you lot alone and help me out with the readings. How about that? All right. Uh, Libra. Mid-October 2021, Soulmate Cycle. Let's pull a reading. What do we got? I got it. Yep. Watch that Virgo reading. I'm going to say it again. Another card from the Virgo reading. Another important card. I can't even fucking believe this. I'm going to go after this reading is done. Going down to 7-Eleven. I'm getting me a lottery ticket. And I'm just going to pick them. I'm just going to go with what my energy says. Four. And I never buy those fucking things. Four Pentacles. This is amazing odds. They don't want to let go. They don't want to let go. They're afraid, but they don't want to let go. No, that's all I get off it. Look at her face. I'm not letting go. I got fucking fancy hair. Don't touch my fucking headdress. Don't touch my headdress. Get back at me. Back off. Yep. That's the energy around that car. Don't touch my fucking headdress, motherfucker. Look, she even looked like she, she'd say, motherfucker, get the fuck away from my headdress. Right? It's a beautiful headdress. I love that. I should get me one of those. Underneath that, what's driving it is the undying urge to spear you before you get away. <laughs> Page of Wands. Someone just going to take a chance here. I always say in this Lightseer deck, Page of Wands energy very similar to the Fool in this deck. Somebody's just going to take a chance here. They do not want to let go. They do not under a great deal of burden. All right, let's flip it. Let's do a reading. Here we go. Energy around the connection, how your person feels, how they feel about you, not what they show you, not what they tell you, because that is bullshit. Hidden energy, what the universe wants you to know through me, and I'm going to tell you. It's a little separate from the reading, but it is read with the overall energy and the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything, throw some universe cards over the top. If I think we need to extend this one, I will, but quite frankly, I think the Virgo reading is your extended. And it's free. So take the money you would have spent on the extended and go get yourself a beer. You'll probably need it. All right, here we go. Because you're probably picking up on this person's energy, which is exactly what I told Virgo when they got the devil card in, in a certain position, which was right here, one of the clarifiers of the, how they feel about you. You're probably, you got it in the pre-shuffle. That's even worse. That's like the, the, the uh, cliff notes of the reading. So my guess is you, you, if, you're, if you're good, if you're all right, that's fine. But for those of you that aren't all right, you're picking up on that obsession a little bit. Let's go. What's the energy around the connection? Right after Little Miss, don't touch my fucking headdress. Justice, yeah. This is this is balancing. This is balancing whether anybody likes it or not. This energy, this is a compelled... The judge is swinging the fucking hammer. And I tell you what, this person, it, one of the reasons they're in so many Ten of Wands is so much karma's come down on their side for turning against destiny here. Okay, this is someone, obviously, they're not willing to let go because they were before okay it, it really is that's why uh libra this is your card it's libra season and it showed up in the energy of the connection what do you think that means what what ruling do you think the judge is going to give in your favor or against you i think it's in your favor okay i certainly do i feel it there for sure um how they feel in their emotions yeah, like talking to you, page of, page of cups. Look, they feel they feel like an emotional child next to you. It's a beginner's mind. This person is very, very impressed with you. I have no doubt. You make them feel like a child compared to them, and they may not have shared this with you before. I doubt they did. Mister Little Miss, stay the fuck away from my headdress, motherfucker. Over here, she don't look like she does a whole lot of talking. I'm not going to walk up to her and ask to buy her a drink just because of that resting bitch face right there. I'm not going to do it. I'm not, I'm not interested in breaking resting bitch face. 
So my guess is you kept your distance from this person, as, you know, as best you could. You know, hey, okay, that's fine. But they, they sure as fuck want to talk to you. How they feel? They're starting to get in their feels. It's a page. It's a start. You know, it's a start. But they are getting in their feels with the page of cups. Why? Because I don't think they have a fucking choice. Justice in the energy of the connection right here. Uh, mm, you know, they don't want to let go. They don't. Okay. All right. Okay. Calm down, little boy or girl. Right here. Uh, how do they feel about you? Not what they show you. Not what they tell you. And Knight of Pentacles, they're moving slowly towards you. That makes sense because of the page. Uh, they're moving slowly towards you. They waste a lot of time. A lot of time has been wasted here. It's not the exact message of the Virgo reading. I just think there's something in there for you. This is different. This is someone who's, who does not want to let you go and is coming in to reach out and is absolutely, positively uh, moving towards you. Uh, they also see you. <laughs> they're coming towards you. I see it here, and I see it here. And they don't want to let you go, but they also see you moving away. They also see you slowly slipping away, and that's the stopgap. It's right there. It is. What's the uh, hidden energy read with justice here? What's the universe want you to know? <laughs> Ten of Cups. Yeah. Yeah, that's not surprising. Um, this it, You should watch that Virgo reading. I'm sorry I keep saying that. I do, but it, it's this is just too much. It, this means the exact same thing as, you know, it, it's fine. Uh, I'm not even going to go there. Uh, it's a different deck, so that's all I can say. Uh, the Ten of Cups, it is uh, making things right. It's, the Ten of Cups with justice is making things right. You're going to get some justice here, Libra. You're going to have the same title on your video that Cancer had on theirs, Libra, except it's going to be Libra instead of Cancer. It's going to say Libra gets justice. It, you do. Uh, there's somebody here coming in to make things right and they're nervous as fuck about it and they will not let you go. There's obsession around that. Final, final outcome read with the uh, Page of Cups. Yeah. They're magnetically drawn to you. It's the Empress. It's the Empress. It's communication here. It's abundance. It's birthing new things. It's slow, long-term, steady growth. There is potential for it here. The scales are balancing. Um, this is, remember I said they're intimidated by you? Remember I said that? Yeah, of course they are. You think this little boy right here, this little boy gets to date the best tits in the tarot? You think this girl right here is going to give this little boy the ride of his life? I don't think so. I don't fucking think so. I don't. They're nervous as fuck. They feel like a child next to you. I said it earlier. I Rewind. I read the energy first, then I pull the card. I said, when this card hit, they're intimidated. They feel like a child next to you. Yeah. He ain't never seen tits like this. It's unreal. And in person, oh my God, in person, I got to see them. I mean, this, this is, you know, this is magazine shit. You don't get to see that in person. It's crazy. No, seriously, they're magnetically drawn to you. The universe is just dragging them right in. They will not let this go. They cannot. They can't. Okay. And they see you slipping away. That's why they're chucking the spear. I already said it earlier. I said they're chucking the spear because you're getting away. Here you are getting away. Look at that. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah. Take my word for it. Watch that Virgo reading a little bit. There's something in there for you. Uh, let's clarify. How's the justice here? Unbelievable readings this uh, mid month. Unfucking real. Can't even believe it. Okay. Mm. Why is the justice here? Why, 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 why? That's my theme song. All right. <laughs> I laugh when I see the crossing card. The bottom of the deck is the crossing card here. I don't always show it to you, but I will. <laughs> the three of cups. It's communication. Okay, it's the flow of energy. It's someone opening up who didn't open up before. Probably because they need to straighten something out. Uh, tell you how they feel. Because they can't take the fucking karma that's falling on their head anymore. Let's flip it and see what cards come out. Why is justice here? Yeah, the Ace of Pentacles took them long enough. It's a slow moving energy right here. It's a big offer. It's a big offer. Emotional contentment is possible. 
Emperor. Mm, we had the Emperor over in Virgo, too, I don't mind saying. Uh, the Emperor. Mm, stubborn, Burger King. Mm, they learned their lesson. The Emperor learns a lesson is what it is here. With justice underneath it. They learned that uh, you're not together. This little boy isn't banging this chick because of this guy's behavior or because of this guy. Maybe they were married to a third party who was a controlling, entitled fuckwit. I don't know. The universe don't want to talk about that here, but it's possible. And then they got a divorce because justice is here or they checked out emotionally because justice is here. I don't know. I'm just telling you. It is a strand in the energy, but it's not the main theme here. The main theme here is this person realizing through all the shit that happened on their side while they dilly-dallied around and took their time. This is the slow... Watch, I want you to see this. I'm very transparent with my readings. This is the slowest movement energy in the deck. This is the second slowest. This is slower than this. They see you moving away. Why? Well, why wouldn't you? They didn't tell you how they felt. They didn't get the balls up to ask this girl out over here. And they took... And they went slow. Really slow. So slow, in fact, the Knight of Pentacles is getting away. The Knight of Pentacles is getting away. I want you to absorb that. He got a racehorse used, right? And, and he's walking. And he's getting away. Because they were so fucking slow. Maybe trying to make things work with an entitled fuckwit. I don't know. Or just because of their bad Burger King behavior, they fell on some karma and learned a lesson. And now, they got kicked back from the Emperor to a page of cups. A little boy. Male or female, it's a little boy on the car. A little nerd. Right there. Well, she doesn't date nerds. And you guys, my divine feminines who come here, my soul tribe, you learned your self-worth. You know your tits are nice. You do? This little boy ain't gonna get to bang this. This needs to grow the fuck up. I'll tell you what, and I think they might. Let's find out. Let's see. You know? None of my divine feminines are banging children. That's not happening. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Not if you found your self-worth. Tell you what, this is the pool boy. The pool boy gets to peep her, but he don't get to bang her. Why is the pool boy here? Page of Cups. Tell me about this. Why is the pool boy here? Mm. I'll show you the bottom. Alright? It's the hermit. Crossing car. Cross this. Mm. I, think they, I think they heard me. I think they know. I, th I think they heard what I said. They're, they're going out and getting some new clothes. Maybe. I don't know. Seven of Swords. They're going to try to... Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. It's a card of deception. It's a card of the thief. It's a card of someone fooling themselves. This person's fooling themselves. Uh, they're going to... Uh, well, let's, let's see what the next card is. Yeah, temperance. They're going to find some kind of balance. They're going to grow up a little bit. They're going to they're, they're going to temper their emotions. They're going to grow up to this guy. This guy's going to try and bang right here. This is the angel. This is my mechanic angel. Right here is the picture on the card. Uh, it's a little better. It's at least a man. It's at least a grown man. All right? Uh, but it's a deception. Uh, they're going to come in with balanced energy. What appears to be balanced energy to try to get the empress here. I believe that. I think the cards will back me up in a minute. Um, but be careful. Okay? This person... Hmm, they know they fucked up. I just I wish that Seven of Swords wasn't there. I'm going to pull on that. The hermits here, they figured it out. They've like they're trying to figure out a way to come in. Yeah, I get sort of the like the thief casing out the place. You know what I'm saying? And they're like, okay, yeah, uh, I need to make myself look like a grown up. It's that kind of thing. If I want to, you know, do more than peep that. Okay, uh, give me a couple of cards on the seven of swords. Give me a couple of cards on the seven of swords here. Why is this seven of swords here? What the fuck is this seven of swords? All right, let's see. Ten of Wands and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, the it's fake. 
It's fake. They're they're thinking it. It's heavy on their mind. I saw it here with Angel, my mechanic. Okay, it's it's the ten of wands. It's it's the end of burdens. They need to come in. They need to talk, and they're gonna try to, to fluff themselves up a little bit. Maybe find something to talk about. You know, hey, I heard you. You know that kind of thing. I don't know, but you're getting away here. Knight of Pentacles. I don't know. We'll see. Let's see where this is going. That's just in their emotions and their feelings. It doesn't surprise me. It's partial emperor behavior. That's that's core programming. The Burger King, you know. Once you buy the franchise, you're stuck with it because you can't sell it. Nobody's going to buy a Burger King. All right, the Knight of Pentacles. You have to imagine the bad karma. I mean, just right here, we see karma. I said they receive karma. Imagine you own a Burger King. Imagine the bad karma that must come down on your life for poisoning all those people. My God, making all those people throw up. That's terrible. That's terrible. It must be awful. I'm sorry, I'm going to make my lawyer Shelly happy. In my opinion. There we go. She'll be happy now. That's fine. I can hear her in the background. That's fine, Stephen. That's better. Okay. Fuck off. All right, the Knight of Pentacles my opinion. It's not my opinion. It's accuracy, in my opinion. Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Why is it here? <laughs> Five card is the Wheel of Fortune. Wait! Don't go! Wait! Oh, God damn. Oh. Wait! Don't go! Victory! Wait, wait, look, she even looks like she's chasing, look, she even looks like she's chasing after him. This is the Six of Wands. Wait, waving him down. Wait, I put on my mini skirt. Wait, wait. Oh, for fuck's sake. Okay. Sarah Gilbert. <sighs> uh, where do I even begin? This behavior is changing. Whatever it is, it's crossing. They're trying to stop you, the Wheel of Fortune. They're trying to stop Knight of Pentacles from going away. It's, it's, yes, it's, the connection is moving towards you, but this is how they see you. They see you as moving away, not coming towards them. They also see you as victory, but they also don't know how to get it. Sarah Gilbert here, swatting at the Two of Swords, swatting at crows. They're at a crossroads right now. They're, they're just, that was the Four of Swords we saw. After the cut, I think it was. The Four of Swords. They're, they're, I said in my last little statement about it, but they're not doing anything. This is not doing anything. This is treading water, so to speak. <sighs> Trying to puff themselves up. Okay, let's see where we go. I, I'm hoping. I'm rooting here. They definitely don't want to lose you. Oh, that's, that's fucking true. Holding on for dear life. Okay, uh, Ten of Cups. And it's their own fault here. And they suffered a lot of karma on their side. I'll pull a couple cards on that in a little bit. I'll grab the animal deck and we'll, we'll pull on the justice card. Uh, why is uh, the Ten of Cups here? Why is the Ten of Cups here? Tell me about the Ten of Cups. Uh -huh. They see your value in Nine of Pentacles. They also may have, because I put the marriage thing over here, may have gotten themselves single and free to pursue. It go either way. Okay, or both. I don't know. Either way, they see your value. Not for all of you have they left someone and are single to free to pursue. I don't know. Five of Pentacles. They're out in the cold. Five of Pentacles because they took so fucking long. I already told you that. I read the energy first, you know. But I already told you that. Yeah, okay. Those two are red together. What's red with the uh, Burger King here? The bad food upright. Uh, ten of, in my opinion. Uh, ten of Swords. Ten Swords with the Burger King. Yeah. Ten swords with the Burger King. That's perfect, isn't it? This should be the card they use on their fucking commercials right here. The Ten of Swords. Come to Burger King. Get the Ten of Swords and you're fucking back. It, it, they killed it. They killed this. They, with the, they. This is the karma they got. You're their karma. You've heard readers say that to you, right? You're their karma. Yeah, you are. You learned your lesson. My divine feminines here. You people. My soul tribe out, out, out there on Twitter. My girls and guys, hi. You're the shit, like me. We're all the shit. We are. If you're not on my Twitter feed, 
You're not the shit. You got to come out and join Twitter. Join us. And you're the shit. And if you come out there and you act like shit, I'm going to block you. And that's just what I do. But either way, because we got a nice community built. But either way, the Empress here. You're the shit. You got your shit together. This person suffered karma. They have to learn their lesson. You learned yours. You found your self-worth. Took my advice all year. Went out and put your fancy bikinis on and got some static energy on you. Something nobody fucking teaches you. I watched YouTube all last year. Everyone's talking about find your self-worth. That's only one half of the energy. You need to balance it. That's internal static. You need external static too. Otherwise, you're just a fucking hermit that looks pretty. And feels good about themselves. It reads to other people as mm, arrogance in a way. This person needs to learn their lesson. It was their fault for moving slow that they're out in the cold. And it was their fault because of their behavior as the Burger King and the bad fucking food they kept pumping out that this thing is Ten of Swords. And now these two cards are sitting on top of Ten Cups. Now they realize how much happiness there is here and what they've lost. Why do they realize what, what they've lost? Why? Well, because this boy started peeping in the window while he was cleaning the pool and realized that holy shit, those are nice tents. That's why. Let me tell you something. Honest to fucking God, I want to smack some of these DMs so fucking bad. I do. And I got a, I got a nice smack, too. I know how to punch real good. I'll give him a nice one. All right. The Empress, what's going to happen here? It's fucking unbelievable. All right. The Empress. The Empress. 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 Tell me about this. It's a card of communication here. It's also a card where they're just compelled. I mean, the energies right now, as we know from some of the readings I've done recently, are compelling people to turn around and come back. It's not just Mercury retrograde. It's the 1010 portal. It's the energy of the connection cycle itself that's in retrograde. It's a stop gap. It's na nature is doing everything in its power to balance these connections. And it's having to because it's having to fight fuckwits on the other side that peep in windows rather than just fucking grow up and come in and fucking say something. You know? It's, it's, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, Empress, 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 why are you here? Empress, okay, okay. Yeah, they're going to reach out. I see the bottom card. Here it is. The affecting energy is the Three of Cups. Somebody opening up who hasn't opened up before. It can be a card of third party. So for those of you where your person's married, I'd say they don't really give a shit about that. All they give a shit is about your tits. That's all. Male or female, you can have them man boobs. It's fine. You eat too much chicken. That's what happens. You know, you got to get you the uh, all-natural free-range chicken. You get the hormones in there, you're screwed. You're going to need a bra by the time you're 55. Um, but I'll tell you what. Right here, the Empress. Yeah. Somebody's coming in to communicate. Somebody who hasn't before. This is emotional communication. Now, I think that... Whoa. Two cups underneath it. Look at that. I, I was just about to say, what was fuel in this? Yeah. Three cups down to two. So, for those of you where your person's married, three cups, right? Three people goes to two. Mmm. But also for all of you, it's two soulmates coming together. So I'm not real worried about what's going to come out here on top. It's going to be good. Uh, the world, otherwise, I'll just pack up the tarot table and fucking go home and screw it all off. Yeah, Ace of Cups and underneath that an Ace of Swords. I mean, honest to God, I'd pack up the tarot. If, if cards of forward movement and communication, communication, Ace of Cups, communication with the Ace of, with Ace of Swords, uh, and the world card on top of the Empress... If the cards of if cards like this didn't fall out here with the three of cups and the two of cups under the deck, I'd pack up the tarot table, go home, shut the channel down, delete the whole fucking thing by 5 p.m. I mean, honestly. Uh, yeah, they're coming in. Uh, a cycle is changing. A cycle of deception. A cycle of them fooling themselves. This is red with the seven of swords. This ace of cups is red with my mechanic over here, angel. The card of the angel, temperance. Um, they, they, they're going to start. They're going to talk. They're going to talk about their feelings. Uh, that's what this card says too. Three of Cups. They're going to talk about their feelings. Two of Cups underneath it. Two soulmates coming together. If there's a third party, Three Cups goes to two. Bye-bye. I already told you they don't care. All they can focus on are these tits on the Empress. That's it. This is communication. This is the Ace of Swords. It wanted to come out with the Ace of Cups. They were at the top of the deck. Right after the World card. There you go. 
that's your reading. I'm going to pull three cards from the universe before you go. Mm. Libra, Libra, Libra. My God. Mm. All right, let's see. Let's go. Libra. Mm. Give me three cards, universe. What else you want to tell my Libra? You know what? I'm going to pull them from a separate deck. I pulled a lot of cards out of this deck. And I said I was going to pull on justice, didn't I? You know what? I am. Because uh, I'm pissed. Because it's their fucking fault. I'm pissed. It's their fucking fault they're in the cold. Right? They took the damn time. Probably tried. For, so for those of you where it was a third party, they tried to make it work with an emperor. You can't fucking stay in a long-term relationship with an emperor. Nobody can. Fucking assholes. Right here. The, the controlling borderline narcissist or full-blown, one or the other. Right here. It was their behavior that caused ten swords here. Let's find out what kind of karma they got. I got a fresh animal deck right here. And the universe wants to talk. Let's find out. Give me three cards and a bottom card on this justice card. For my Librans. Let's go. Tell me what you got. That's my theme song. It changes all the time. Give me three cards and a bottom card on this. For my Libra people. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ah, I love it. You know what? I'm going to do it for you before I tell you what's under here. Right there. There's the emperor. That behavior or the person or both. I'm going to give it two middle fingers from Steve. Two middle fucking fingers, motherfucker. Yeah, here's what happened to your fucking person. Oh, yeah, it was all good. Queen of Wands, it was all wonderful and nice on their side, right? It all fucking fell apart. Everything. All of it. Queen of Wands is pretense. Queen of Wands is the celebrity that shows up at the party in the fancy Maserati. And he has the diamonds on, you know, and tells everybody you know, they, they look good. Oh, they look real nice. Yeah, but the diamonds are borrowed. The car is past due. You know, they're going to, the only reason they went to the event is so the tow truck can't find it. You know, the house is about to be foreclosed on, but they look all nice and polished at the party. Bullshit. Everything, all of it came crashing down, crashing to the ground. Look, look, five of cups, sad horse, regret, loss, sadness, nothing on their side but loss sadness and regret and on the outside again I'm gonna say it again I see your tweets I read them my person says this my person's doing this my person this that and the other thing just bought an Armani this or what I don't give a fuck about 3d I live in both the 3d and the 5d when you're like me when you have deep empathy and you read energy that's what you do uh, if I had my choice I would leave the fucking 3d completely and stay in the 5d I fucking love it there uh, it is wonderful, but unfortunately I can't do that either way because it's bullshit because 78 you know 78 percent 78.2 percent of the people you meet talk to come up to you show you things on social media they're all full of shit it all fell down bye bye tower five of cups what's at the top what's at the top give me the <laughs> The lovers reversed. <laughs> Strength. Trying to keep it together. Oh, and the four of pentacles reversed. And what else is here? What else? Oh, my God. Yeah. And the ace of swords. Yeah, that, that makes sense. Lovers reversed. Strength. And the four of pentacles reversed with the with the ace of swords. Um, so, it just... it. They screwed the whole thing up trying to hold it together. This is the Queen of Wands trying to hold it together. It tells me, too, that all the time they wanted to bring you a rose. This is one of the roses from the Two of Cups in this deck. Four of Pentacles reversed. It's a miser who spends his money. It's someone who worked. In this case here, it was foolishly spent because the lovers is reversed. So it was they, they put energy into the wrong thing. And they realized this. Okay, and that's part of what's driving them coming in. They realized it. All right? So, I mean, I don't know what else to tell you. It wouldn't even matter if these cards were upright, come to think of it. I read the energies as reversed, 
but to be honest even upright it's perfectly fine they stubbornly held on, stubbornly held on to something all the while wanting to bring you the rose something that they thought they loved and they realized the truth either way it's a reading that re energetically or card wise it reads the same both fucking ways it doesn't matter now let's pull Jesus let me put these cards back randomly let's shuffle the deck and get you three cards from the universe just, I love this I'm sorry I just want to look one more time oh the queen of wands oh it all it's all fake it all fell apart oh, it's fucking beautiful oh it's fucking beautiful all right I like it when people get their fucking karma I do I'm an energy reader I swim in the fucking 5d I see karma all day long I see people do stupid shit all day long that I know they're gonna pay for all fucking day long I see it dumb shit the guy you know even just little shit I can see the energy around them that attaches the guy who doesn't pick up his dog poo he lets the dog shit on the sidewalk doesn't bother with the little bag to scoop it up and then just walks away I see the energy that follows him it leaves the poo and it attaches to the guy and I know that later that night some, or the next day or whatever something's gonna go wrong or that's just gonna build up with all the other shit that person does and it's gonna go wrong I, this is I love seeing it play out here because this person this is a beautiful connection and this person just fucked it off that's all they did and they shouldn't have they made a mistake whatever they tried to make work on their side whatever it was it was something they thought they loved it could have been a person it could have been a thing it could have been a table for all I know I have no idea um, maybe your person's a woodworker I don't fucking know all right three uh, three cards from the bottom what else you want to tell Libra before I let them go here oh my god all that shuffling five of cups the fool and the five of swords Four of Wands crossing the Five of Cups, or crossing the Fool, I'm sorry. Five of Cups here, this loss and sadness for you. The Fool is taking a leap of faith, you know, toward Four of Wands. A happy new beginning. They're coming towards you. We see it here in the final outcome. We already know. The universe is telling us why. And it's very similar to the reason that, that's why I kept telling you, it's a beautiful, I love a reading that ends and ties the beginning. And I just got done telling Libra that. It's really funny. Or uh, Virgo that, I mean. It's really funny. This is fitting that I told you to go watch the Virgo reading. Because this is Virgo's overall energy. And it is the same energy. It is someone who wants to wrong, uh, fix, wrong, uh, right or wrong. To fix something or a misunderstanding or something. And what's causing it is now they feel the loss. One of the, one of the two cards I said would cause someone to take a leap of faith, the fool, and come forward. They're taking a leap of faith towards something they feel a loss of, okay, to try to wrong or, uh, right or wrong, okay, try to fix it, fix a misunderstanding, whatever, and what's driving it in part is they now all of a sudden see that there's potential here, there's commitment potential, I think there's a, because of the ace of uh, pentacles here, I think there's a big offer, I think some of you may get an offer of commitment from this person, it is possible, some of you, okay, all right. that's your reading. I think I went above and beyond here for you Libras. Well, you are my moon sign, so yeah, I know. I think. Are you? I don't know. I forget my chart all the damn time. I know I got Libra in my chart somewhere. Anyway, that's your reading. I hope this reading was helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate all the subscribers and everyone who shares and everyone who watches. All right. I'll keep an eye on the energies. If they change, I'll do an energy update for you. If not, this reading holds. Okay? That's not... We don't do things here at Steve's Love Tarot the way everybody does them with 12 signs a fucking week and all that shit. No need for that. No need. But I will keep an eye on it. If there is a need, I'll do a fucking reading for you. I want to see this again. <laughs> Good luck, Libra.